how I try that forehead is kind of big instead. Okay. Okay. Right there. No clue where I'm going to figure it out, it ain't that hard. And that's the road where the wind is blowing, the whole damn world is my backyard. Last night I slept on the edge of a mountain, tonight I'll sleep on Sunset Strip. Next week it's down on Cocoa Beach, and then back on the road in Route 666. Cause I gotta put together my little YouTube show Oh no I'm living in a freaking van Wow, yes I am So for Santa Claus Day I'm getting them a joint present Of a brand new coffee maker Because there sucks It's bad Anyway I think I'll give it to him today. Not very good with the patience. It's like just here. <laughs> Colorado coldness. Oh look, it's my uh, mom and Ron's Christmas present that I'm, they're probably gonna get today. But anyway, as far as cold goes, Colorado ain't got shit on Michigan. I'll tell you that right now. It is a bitter son of a bitch out here. Are you sure you're ready? Your gift is Jake. <laughs> Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Why did you get a new coffee pot? Because yours is shitty and you don't know it. <laughs> Happy Christmas to you. Sounds good to me. She turned her tables on me. Ooh, I see a very good word on it, though. Oh, my goodness. Is this, uh, this ain't the one I had on the list, is it? Could be. It's wrapped. It is wrapped. Oh, it is wrapped. I didn't do it. It's your Christmas <laughs> Rhonda. Oh, no. This is, uh... Why do you gotta outdo me? <laughs> I did, because there's <laughs> two of us. proud of that coffee. There's machine. two of us. You know, kid? Oh, that makes sense. All right. So I know it's not a competition, but... I got my ass kicked. <laughs> this is... Oh, I really, really want it and need needed one of these it's a 360 camera it's a gopro it's waterproof for every single thing that i'm doing this can come in handy good day good day it is a snowy snowy like snowy day in southeastern michigan had to drop the man off at an appointment a little bit of meyer shopping i'm in the mom's car I know a lot of you are thinking, like, I thought this was a, a van life show. Technically, I live in my van. Um, if you don't know, I'm taking care of my mom and her husband while he's going through cancer stuff. He's at rehab right now, physical therapy. So a lot of it is me doing... <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I mean, I'm a monetized channel. I enjoy that little 200 bucks I get a month, so I got to upload something every week. And that's what this is. It's day-to-day uh, -day life. And it's always been day-to-day -day life. It's not entirely van life. Even before, you know, when I had my house in Colorado and I was only van lifing at maybe halftime, I was still uh, doing these videos. At one point, I was doing three a week. Now, I think we're back to two a week, and that's cool, Monday, Friday. Uh, for now, until I run out of shit to do. Uh, it is winter now, and it's, you know... Traveling just doesn't happen as much. Uh, I, I don't think we're close to him being 100% yet. Not even close. So um, it's going to be a lot more of this. And it is what it is. You know, it's me capturing again. I've said this a billion times. It's me capturing this time. This is a scrapbook for me. A video scrapbook, a vlog, whatever you want to call it. That's what this is. So uh, it's not always going to be exciting. I will tell you this much, my plan at the moment is to have a new van in the spring. I was gonna get one, I mean, something may come up, who knows, but 
I want, I want a high roof extended cargo van that I can build into a wonderful home uh, and just live in it full time. I don't want a house. I don't want an apartment. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want any of that shit. I just want to live in a van and wake up in a different city every day and travel nonstop and film all the TV shows that we have scattered all over the country. And the only time I won't be in that van is when we're overseas. And I got a feeling next year is going to be that year where we're overseas quite a bit. Uh, I want to spend a month in Europe. I want to spend a couple weeks in Asia. Um, I want to go back to Korea. There's, there's a world out there, man. I've pretty much conquered this country. Uh, pretty much. You know, there's only a North Dakota, Alaska, Hawaii, of course. I might do that this year. I might fly to Hawaii, then fly to uh, Japan or Korea and all that stuff. I, I don't know. But I do know there's like a huge world out there and I want to be a part of it before it all goes to shit. <laughs> um, yeah, man. And I got to get my health back in order. I got to lose about 30 pounds. I got, a, got a lot of shit to do, man. But it, it's it, the universe has been coming together for me and lining things up. In a wonderful way and I'm very grateful for that and uh, I'm gonna take advantage of it obviously dropping the man off at the uh, Chemo place or whatever, Intruda, whatever it's called. Nice little talk with him today. Really, I uh, really love that guy. I really respect him. And I can't wait till he gets better so we can actually go do shit, you know? <laughs> It's another trip to Meyer. I love Meyer. It's still my favorite store, my favorite grocery store, by far. For no other reason, it's just that I'm biased. And I grew up with Meyer before I even knew what a Walmart was, so it's better. Hmm. Back at the place. He's in there getting good stuff pumped in there to get rid of some bad stuff in his body, you know? Hopefully. Hmm. I have not filmed anything today. I have gotten a lot done though. We've been talking to SOK Battery about making the, the van powerful. Uh, we've been talking to Gary Vincent, our distributor for the movie. And he's also going to publish a couple of books that I wrote that I've been sitting around for a little bit and the next three that I'm currently writing. Yeah, I write books, okay? Look up Billy Fred Whopper Goggles on Amazon. That's the first one. Pretty soon you'll have Go There, Eat That, Road Stories and Recommendations, and Chicken Snake and Chupacabra Cow that my son and I wrote years ago, about two years ago. And um, one of the last fun things we did together. So anyway, I save all the money from the son, books that I write with my son, whatever it makes, and uh, that money goes to him, so. Whatever, it's just me doing what I should be doing. Anyway, um, and I, I, I'm writing. I said I'm writing three more books: one about misophonia, one about um, the '80s, and uh, my autobiography that I've been writing for 30 years. I feel like I've said this already. Anyways, I dropped off Ron at another appointment. I'll be picking him up in about 45 minutes. I dropped off a ton of donations for my mom. Yes, she's still getting rid of things, and still more to go. I still got this to get rid of, these Christmas things that came in broke. Uh, I got to make a Meyer run. I got a lot of shit to do, um, but it's not that exciting, okay? It's really not that exciting. Uh, you don't want to watch, I'm sure you don't want to watch somebody just talking on the phone with somebody or texting somebody or it's not that exciting. I promise things will get very exciting real soon. I may have to go to Las Vegas pretty soon. I may have to go back down to West Virginia. I got to... Tennessee, Florida. Oh my God, I got stuff all over Florida. We've been talking to the Blue Three people down there, B-L-U-3. Um, 
BLU3, flip this person off. Uh, they do diving equipment and like underwater breathable apparatuses and things like that. And it's really cool. Uh, so I have to go down there and film with them. Uh, and other YouTubers I've been talking to, all kinds of stuff, man. But it's not fun to watch it being set up. It is fun to actually do it. And that's when we'll actually put cameras on it and, and head on down and head over yonder. Quickest Meyer trip ever. And I am proud of myself because for most of my life, I've had a White Castle weakness. Um, but I can only do it like, I mean, not at all right now because it's just not on the, the plan. But it's, um, they're wonderful little burgers. But I can only do it like once a month because I feel bad after I eat it. Mentally, I feel bad. Like I'm upset with myself for eating it. And then physically, I just feel like sodium death. So very proud of myself for only have been to White Castle twice in the two and a half months that I've been here, so. Go me. He's just sitting around in there. Look at him. Not doing nothing. Hurry up and wait. Another thing I learned in the army. Comes with that whole being 15 minutes early or you're late thing. Uh, I know I don't wear these hats because I loved my time in the army. I wear them because I look freaking phenomenal. I'm going to Kroger's. I can't be stopped. I'm going to Kroger's. That's where I like to shop. I'm going to Kroger's for bread and milk and more. I'm going to have a blast at the store. I'm going to Kroger's. I'm at Kroger's. I'll be here from morning to dark. I'm at Kroger's. Just got to find a place to park. I'm at Kroger's. I'm here to buy some cheese. I'll come to Kroger's any time that I please. I got Kroger's. Oh, yeah, I'm at Kroger. I'm going in Kroger. I'm going inside the store. Tell me if you don't want to hear me rap no more. I'm in Kroger. I'm going through the sliding doors. I'm in Kroger. That's right. I'm in the store. I'm shopping in Kroger. I've got a shopping cart. I'm shopping in Kroger. Hmm. It smells like a fart. There's produce and tomatoes and avocados and more. I'm going to buy everything inside this store. I'm at Kroger's. Bananas and coconuts. I'm in Kroger. Too bad. It smells like butts. I'm in Kroger. Oh, yeah, Kroger. Yeah, it smells like bread. I can't get the smell out of my head. Oh, yeah, Kroger's. I'm here to buy some meat. And over here, I think it's going to smell like feet. I like Kroger's. I'm leaving Kroger. I got some burgers and buns. I'm leaving Kroger. Kroger is so much fun. I'm leaving Kroger. I could get some crackers or more. I'm leaving Kroger. Eh, I'm going to leave the store. Word up. I left Kroger. Listen to what I say. I left Kroger. Yeah, I'll be back someday. I left Kroger. As quiet as a mouse. Now I'm dropping groceries right back at the house. I left Kroger. The Kroger wrap is something you didn't realize that you needed in your life, did you? Well, I was going to go out and do some stuff today. I'm not 100% sure I really want to right now. That is the little cooler box, the snack master that Road Pro sent me. See? Road Pro, my favorite brand. And it keeps things cool, man. Or it keeps things warm. You can get one of these on Amazon right now. It's only, I don't know how much they cost. It was not that much. In other good sponsorship news, SOK Batteries came through and we're going to be working with them pretty soon. They're going to send a couple batteries to me for the van. Hopefully they'll fit that power inverter I have. I don't know how to do any of that shit. Not at all. So I have like a thousand reviews to do for all these sponsors. I'm going to set up a studio in their garage here while I'm here. 
They need a backdrop. So I rush ordered this brick wall. I escaped the house. Mm. Also, I got this little clip from a Telesyn company, whatever it's called. It's like for a, it's for a GoPro. And yeah, oh, it just tore that up. Damn. Anyways, it's got a magnet on it and it uh, clips to things as well. So uh, it's got some teeth on there though. <laughs> it's it's uh it shredded my dashboard man it sucks a little warning about that maybe also i got my magnetar spike all of this whole everything here is magnets and magnet fishing stuff yeah i've been uh i've been uh <laughs> acquiring things i'll just put it that way i guess i can put it up here Let's see if it shreds it up there i have not been here in a long time and i've only been here once before it's apple charlie's all right i had a really good time here with my son and i'm just dying for something to do right now so i'm gonna go in here and look at apples so yeah apple charlie's i've been wanting to come back here i like this place they have like a whole animal thing over there and apparently they live here and bunch of apple shit I see the word food I like food I am hungry huh. up oh, there it says they're open okay it is very unpopulated in here know if I'm supposed to be in here. This is weird. This is really weird. Are they open? It smells amazing, I'll tell you that much. Last time I was here, this place was cram-packed. I was with my son, and we got apple pies, and caramel apples. I don't think anybody's here. <laughs> It says they're open online. It says they're, the door says they're open. What am I supposed to do here? I hear music. I see cookies. Love me some pumpkin butter. Ooh, apple butter. Oh, yeah. I'd like to give people money and buy things. Ooh, they got cider. This is a damn good cider, too. Ten bucks a gallon, but it's good. It's the fruit room. I mean, we've already been in here. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to take off. I, get, I hear people talking now. That's not what I expected. There's people over there. I think. Maybe I'm just on an off day. It is a Wednesday, but it's like a ghost town over here. Usually there's a bunch of animals and hay rides and people and stuff. I have a weird feeling that I'm not supposed to be here, but there's nothing saying I can't be here. They say they're open. Everything says they're open. Hey guys. You guys out here in the cold? You having a bad day? You're so handsome. What you eating in there? What are you eating? I want some. What in the world is that? I don't know what it is, but I kind of want to eat it. And I don't know why. I just want to eat it, though. Is that a turkey? It's huge. Some friends over here. Hey guys. Yeah, last time I was here, there's a bunch of horses and, and pigos, I think, and some all kinds of stuff, and llamas and camels and pterodactyls. And that ostrich is totally, totally following me. Ooh, look, apples. 
you too can pick these apples off of that tree. <laughs> I don't think it's the season. It's very pretty though. You are beautiful. How are you? How are you? You're so pretty. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness, you're beautiful. That is a sexy bird. Huge. You're like what? Eight feet tall? You're huge. You're so pretty. One of these apple trees. I'm gonna go pick apples when they're in season, not now. I'm sorry about that whole Thanksgiving thing. Man, that's a huge turkey. Gobble, gobble. Look, they're friends. Oh, just separated by chicken wire. Otherwise, you guys could just be the best of friends. Bye, guys. Enjoy the nice cold-ass day it is today. Should have put on some gloves. A little bit of the magic making back here. Yeah, this place was pretty cool last time I was here. There was bands playing and everything. It was, I think we were here like during COVID though. We had to wear masks and everything, but it was fine. It, it was cool. Look at this. I could live in something that big. Oh yeah, hell yeah. It's bigger than a minivan. I don't know if this would be worth magnet fishing, but you never know what's in there. It's kind of a touristy area. Anything down there? Ah, you know, just another thing that makes me miss my kid. Maybe another. Someday he'll come around. You know, everybody says, oh, that's just what they do when they're teenagers. They'll, they'll, he'll come around. I'm like, man, kind of went from uh, 100 to miles an hour to zero. <laughs> I don't know if that can be fully repaired, you know? I like that word. I don't think there's anything in here, but... Oh, huh, it's like a little picnic area. Last They got a stage over there. Last time there was a band playing, and... Huh. There's a skeleton in there. Making some delicious food on the grill. Somewhat of a wasted trip. I didn't need to be eating all that sugar anyway, but... Thought there'd be at least something to do. Oh well. I'll give him a call before I come next time. And all these apple trees. I don't see why you wouldn't just stop here, go over there and grab you some apples if you wanted some. Goodness, look at these freaking potholes, man. Are you freaking serious? Making me say freaking way more than I normally ever would. Oh gosh, man, this is terrible. Funny enough, I have no idea where I'm going right now. Oh. My van just can't get there soon enough, wherever it is. I'm gonna make a quick stop been kind of putting it off a little bit. I don't know why. I just have been. But it's uh, I've been here for three months and it's long overdue so I'm sure there'll be a little bit of uh, maintenance I have to do on it. Every year I come back it seems to be buried deeper and deeper. There she is. That's my grandma, right there, somewhere under there. Aren't these people that work here supposed to do this, you know? I don't think they do shit. <laughs> and once they're in the ground, we're good. God, she would be a hundred years old this year. I've been here before on this uh, YouTube show. 
Not for a while though. I don't know. Just you got memories, like I said earlier. You got memories. That's what you need to hold on to. This doesn't. This is just um, a marker, you know. I don't even know if it's a tribute, but I don't know what I want to do when I die. I keep, <laughs> I keep thinking to myself, like, no, I just want to be made into a sword or something, you know, to take the carbon from my ashes, make a sword, give it to my kids, and they'll pass it down if they want to, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a just a symbol, something to go, oh, hey, I remember you. That's why I don't come out here very often. That's why it took me forever to go visit my my best friend Dave and his cemetery stone in, in Oklahoma. I couldn't go. I can't do funerals, man. I, I don't want to, you know, I didn't want to end our relationship with me looking at him in a freaking box. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. You know, grandma was hard enough. That was back in 95. Like, it's been forever. Uh, she was great to me. She was really great to me. Uh, her name was Maxine Crouch. If she was still around, she wouldn't even know what this whole contraption. Of, what's that? You can carry a phone with you and and record movies on it. And <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't even imagine. Like if she popped out of the grave right now in perfect health and said, "What? What is that? What is that? What is that van? What is this? Is crazy? What is all this stuff?" It'd be kind of fun, though, wouldn't it? I don't know. We're we live when we were supposed to live and. It's a pretty good time for me, I man, being in the 80s and the 90s and even the 70s. These were those were great times, man, before the internet's and, you know, the Facebooks and cell phones and everything. But then I get to experience all that stuff as well, so funny story when grandma got buried here. She uh we're all sitting right here. My uncle who's no longer with us and that side of the family, my mom, my stepdad at the time, we were all just kind of standing around me. I was 22 at the time, well, half a lifetime ago, over half a lifetime. Standing around, hearse pulls up, right about there, probably right there. And I was the first to notice, I was standing about right here going, I don't think that's grandma. Because <laughs> grandma had this, she was a very small lady, and she had this very small coffin. And this thing that pulled up had like these big columns and these brass knobs and everything. I'm like... I don't think that's grandma and this lady, the funeral director, her face just deflated because it was, you know, we were out here <laughs> and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then they show up with the wrong damn body. And it was like, oh, we acted like we were mad. We got a, like a big refund or something like that for it. But ultimately it was freaking hilarious. It was like, oh, there's grandma late again, you know. There she is. Yeah, I'll come back once in a while. It's really weird. I, I know dreams are just dreams, but she visits me in my dreams sometimes. And she always looks annoyed at me. So, <laughs> same with Dave. Same with a lot. Of, I've dreamt of a lot of friends that have passed and relatives. And every time I do, they look annoyed with me. Like, I did something wrong. I'm like, I just, it made me, it always makes me wake up feeling bad. But I miss her. She was wonderful to me. And love you, Grandma. I don't know what to do when I die. I kind of want something to acknowledge all the work and entertainment that I've done. And just something like a QR code on a headstone. I Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, three, check one, two, check. So I've turned my mom and Ron's garage into a television studio. Yeah, how cool is that? You know, <laughs> I'm just filming with the phone, the other phone, and um, I'm having a really good time. I'm showcasing Road Pro stuff first because I have so much of it and I absolutely adore Road Pro. So if you don't see the video, here's the Rode Pro fridge. It also is a heater. Rode Pro slow cooker, Rode Pro roaster, saucepan, heater, uh, Rode Pro travel mug that heats things, um, Rode Pro beanie, 
<laughs> Road Pro hat. I got a Road Pro heater back here. Yeah. Oh, the Road Pro. Uh... You've seen all this stuff, haven't you? So yeah, just sitting back here and. <laughs> I love being able to do this stuff, having these, you know, these lights and you can film anything with a phone now. I got this little microphone now. It's been, uh, this is fun. This is fun stuff for me. I love doing stuff like this. So now I have about 20 more to do.